Good morning, it's the girl, girl, Quinny, back with another video, guys, and this morning, because it seems like I'm always doing my mukbangs early in the morning, and I'm a bit annoyed, but that's nothing new, because I initially wanted to have my seafood for breakfast. I know it's odd, I know it's unconventional, but that's what I wanted. I already had, you know what? It was so bad to already boil me some eggs to put in the seafood that I had yesterday because I kept the bag with the seasoning. I still had shrimp in there. And I know some people are like, oh, I can't eat shrimp. For, I can, I can eat shrimp for the next day, yeah. I had shrimp in there and I had potatoes in there, but one potato. Um, I was going to add me some, and I had one little, um, not even a cluster but just a claw one claw um i was gonna add some eggs in there i had to boil the eggs this morning and cut up me some cucumbers to put off in that guy and i look inside the refrigerator to my surprise i told my daughter yesterday to put it inside the refrigerator i put it in, a, in another uh walmart bag and all she still threw it in the trash just messed up my whole taste buds for this morning i am annoyed when I just got my heart set on, so I was thinking about it last night. I said, okay, I'm going to wake up in the morning, get the kids out to school, and enjoy me some seafood, and have a little moot bong, chit-chat with y'all for a little bit. But this is what I'm subject to eat, y'all. I got Popeyes this morning. Well, I got Popeyes yesterday, but, you know, this leftovers. I got a breast, and it looked like maybe a thigh. I don't too much care for the breast, but that was all I had. And I got a biscuit. Ooh, that biscuit hot. But, yeah. And I got me a power aid to drink. And of course I got put honey on my chicken and my biscuit. I put honey and hot sauce on my chicken. I don't know, it's just sweet and good, I guess. Just on this kind of chicken. I don't do too much do that with other chicken. I might put ketchup on like the wing dings, the small chicken, but that's about it. So how are you guys doing this morning? I'm going to tell you something. This morning was not too bad. It was pretty smooth. I'm um, getting the kids off. The bus did come because I had already put my clothes on because I seen the bus go past the house. So then I was like, okay, well, is she going to come back? So I had already put my put my clothes on to call the people hooping and hollering like, oh, she told me the bus was going to come. I don't got time to be taking these kids to school when y'all ride right by the house. Da -da 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 -da. Next thing I know. The pull up was strong. Ooh. 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 I don't got no muscles, or this thing is too tight. Mm. Mm. So, I guess for this afternoon, I'll probably do a video on that too. I'll probably eat some cucumbers, salt, pepper. And some um um fruit. Can't even talk this morning. Let me get into my prayer. I need to say a prayer today this morning. Heavenly Father, I come before you humbly. Thank you for waking me and my children up, Father God. And thank you for waking up everyone who's watching this video, who's able to wake up, Father God. Because some people didn't wake up this morning, Father God. And I just want to ask you to let this food nourish my body, Father God, as I consume it. And please pray over my kids or watch over my kids while they are in school father god because this COVID is really real father god i ask and i pray this in your son jesus christ name amen so y'all i got some things to talk to y'all about this biscuit is caliente okay um i just want to say this okay never been the type of girl who dates okay i'm like a relationship girl i like to be in a relationship and sometimes i have to think to myself i've never had the desire to cheat okay i'm gonna put that on out there Um, 
And then I try to sit back and analyze things and be like, okay, when did I get bored or when did things start taking a turn to where I, this is me speaking on me now. This might apply to you if you, you know, go through what I go through. But hey, this, I'm just talking about me. I just really analyze things now a little bit differently because I'm older. Um, and, you know, they say it's good to date around. You don't have to sleep with every... Let me just clarify something because... People get this so misconstrued that, oh, they see you with this person. Y'all got to be sleeping together. I seen her with Tommy one day. Then I seen her with Paul one day. I didn't have to sleep with Tommy or Paul. We just could have went out and had a good kiki laugh. You're getting to know that person. You know what I'm saying? That's just the tip of the iceberg just to go on a date. It's layers of people, Okay. So, there's no secret. I've been married twice. The first time was, you know, you young and you dumb. The second time, I feel like maybe I was in love. But, you know, you just moving in sep separate directions when, how can I say it? When, for me, it was a go for me. You know, I was a stay-at-home wife, mom. But when you start to feel that shift, listen to that shift, okay? I'm just going to put that on out there. But anyway. But now that I feel like I'm dating, I don't feel the pressure as much to be in a relationship and I don't really want to date, if that makes sense to you. Like, I don't know. I'm just cuckoo. I'm just going to put that on out there. Because I just feel like when I want to deal with you, I'm going to deal with you. I feel like I shouldn't have to hide the way I am or change the way that I am. Because you can't adjust to the way that I am. Maybe that's just bossy. Whatever, whatever. But... Uh, this chicken is cold still, Quintel. Y'all, yeah, it's like, I got on the whole night, y'all, y'all. But anyway. Every time we, we had this conversation, I got to lose, y'all. I got to warm this chicken up, though. I'm back. I'm with y'all. I just got to mic this up a little bit longer. Because, um, I cannot be doing no cold chicken. But anyway. The dog done wreak havoc all morning. Now he want to be asleep. But yeah. Like I was saying... I think now I'm just to the point in my life where I'm not just going to settle for anything. Like, I feel like childish things to me, let me tell you something, childish things to me might not be childish things to the next woman. But things that I'm not going to accept in my life because you have to think, I'm a mother with three children. At this point... I'm looking for a man that either has kids and knows how to interact with kids and that my children enjoy and love and like, like and love, because they grow to love that person, but you have to like that person. Um, and that's another thing. When you are a single mother and people see, oh, well, she has this, she has that. Let me just weasel my way in because I need a meal ticket or I'm down on my... I'm not that girl that's down on... I don't mind building with you. But I'm not going to be your cushion. I'm only going to be your cushion 
if me and you rise to the top and one of us fall, we got to catch, somebody got to catch because we know what the struggle was like. Okay, I'm going to put that on out there. But I feel like at this point in my, in my life, if I want to be, you know, married again, it has to be healthy for me. I have to like that person. You could be in a whole relationship and marry people. A lot of people do it all the time. Marry it for financial security or just to have a companion because they don't want to be alone. And that's another thing. I'm so used to... I won't say be used to being alone, but I'm okay with it now. I like sleep. I'm okay with sleeping by myself. I have a whole big old bed to myself. It's okay. But I'm not going to sit here and, you know, be with this person, that person. And, you know, I had to legitly cut some people off just for my stability. You know, if I feel like I can't do something and this person pressures me, oh, well, you said this, that. If I can't do it, I can't do it. Maybe at that time I could have done it, but then if I can't do it, I can't do it. I, I can't go out on no date with you now. Maybe my, my kids might have something to do. My kids is top priority, okay? Top priority. If I told you we was going to go out on Thursday, Thursday hit, my child got a fever, you hit me, I'm like, you told me, uh-uh, boo-boo. No, no, no. You will get blocked. You will get cursed out, tith. When it come to you coming coming even in contact with the idea of saying something regarding why I can't go out with you because I got my kids to deal with. And I feel, I honestly feel like, of course, I'm a thick em. There's no surprise about that. But I also feel like certain people will break you all the way down because of their insecurities. Like, okay, I could get judged up, but this is me in a natural state. Like, I have no makeup. Yeah, I got little faux locks, whatever. I got my real nails on now, so this is just me. So, of course, these ain't my real eyes, but, you know, I pay for them. But anyway, it's just like, you know, people will bring me bring me down to the ground. And I, I would just, for years and years and years and years, you would just eat at it, eat at it. A person could call you this, that, and the third, and you just take it. And for me, it has been men. It ain't even been no other female that said this, that, and the third about me. It has been men that'll bring you down to the ground. People that you have been in relationships with, they will bring you down to the ground, okay? Because there's something going on with them that they're not comfortable with or that they have an insecurity about. So, you know, I'm going to give you a prime example. I was talking to somebody and, you know, it was just like, I just thought, hold that thought. I got to get my chicken and talk about this. I'm coming, y'all. Let me get a paper towel. But yeah, y'all. You know, I was talking to somebody and, you know, the vibe was fabulous, fabulous in the beginning, okay? So, this person, great body, everything. Me? Big girl, okay? They used to drag me, okay? All the way down to the ground. And it would be a thing of they'll be like, oh, you fat A. Sometimes you fat B. I would kind of laugh it off. And it would just be like I would suppress my feelings because I just thought that this person was everything. 
okay? And that's the thing. When you had enough, you had enough. I'm not about to be no person. Everything. If you can't be my everything. Like, my whole thing is, you know, you was in so much in shape. You never asked me, the oh, baby, can I help you get to where you want to be? Or, I'm a big girl, but shit, my, shoot, my heart is way more bigger for some people. So, you know, I felt like if a person sit there and take the time to really break you down, you got some issues within yourself. You need to work out, and you don't got nothing to do with me. Okay? But, yeah. Years and years of people breaking you down, whether it be friends, family. You know, I heard for the longest, oh, Quintel, you fat. You need to lose some weight. And this was younger days now. Not even a grown quintel. And a lot of people don't know. For me, I can't really say stress eating. I don't really stress eat. I just love to eat. It's not really stress eat. I just love to eat. Maybe it's the wrong things that I love to eat. But hey, I love to eat. I'm just going to put that on out there. But a lot of people go through a lot of trauma. That a lot of people don't realize. It takes them to get older, more mature, a little bit more wiser to be like, oh, well, maybe that that's why she was doing what she was doing. That's another video. But um, I'm going to tell y'all something, man. I've had to, you know, let people. And I, I just want to say this. If I have hurt anyone that I have been in contact with as far as dating scene goes and they watching this, I humbly apologize. I humbly apologize because sometimes a person could think that you feel this way about them and you really don't. Maybe they just get the wrong... the wrong vibe or something. I don't know. It's like, I legit want to tell y'all stories, but you know, I don't be knowing I'm supposed to be watching. That's what I might be telling stories about. But, you know, I don't know, y'all. I'm going to tell y'all something. I ain't really even want this chicken this morning. That's why I'm like picking over it. And my taste buds ain't for it. It ain't going to happen. But, It's like this. <sighs> I just really have to focus on myself. Because in my mind, they say that, you know, you're supposed to work with people. I'm done raising folks' kids. I'm telling you. I'm done. I can't do it no more. If he ain't, if we not learning from each other, I can't do it. I'm not with nobody that's into childish stuff anymore. Like, some women my age, they might be like, oh, this is making me younger. He's acting this way. To me, it's not, boo. It's, to me, it's not working. Uh, because I can't sit here and dumb myself down for nobody I, I wasted too much of my life and my time dumbing myself down for people. I need someone to be team Quintel, not me be team, you got this going on, I'm team, you know, I'm team me. Uh, you know? The only time I'm trying to be team somebody is you selling something that I like. Excuse me, period. But... I don't know, y'all. I'm just, I'm just not a dater. And, you know, I mean, I do have male friends. Actually, last night, 
you know, I was talking to somebody and I was just like, you know, I'm just tired. Tired of being tired, you know. But I don't know. I just really really feel peaceful with just it being me and the kids, to be honest with you. Um hmm. I'm just tired, y'all. Like, I don't mind going out to lunch. But it's just lunch. You know? Nothing more. <sighs> that felt good just to chit chat with you guys. It's kind of like therapy that possibly can help someone else. Because me having a whole daughter, me having a daughter, I sit here and I watch how she moves and stuff like that. For now, she's no nonsense girl. That's how I want her to be as an adult. And don't dumb yourself down for nobody. You are who you are. If they don't like it, that part. And I can honestly say that women, some women, could love a man more than they love themselves sometimes. I've been that girl. But I ain't never going to love no man more than my kids. And this is something that kind of stuck with me. A couple of weeks ago, me and my oldest were sitting at the table. And he told me, he said, Mom, oh, at first I asked him, I said, how would you feel about if I started dating and just dating different guys to see who's a great fit for me. And he told me, he said, that's all well and good, but I don't want no guy to get in our life and then leave. Baby, when your child tell you something like that, you best to listen. So, I'm going to tell y'all something. Y'all want me, y'all better come hella strong, okay? Like, what happened to the days when you could just court somebody, take them out? At this point, even have a chaperone, okay? Like, some things get out of hand, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm so I'm still upset about my dog on the street floor. I ain't gonna sit there and stunt y'all. I'm over this. I'm over it, okay? I'm over it. But y'all, I just want to thank y'all for tuning in. We're going to have more discussions like this. Hopefully, we can have someone or uh, people over, maybe, or meet somewhere so we can have better discussions about stuff, different things. But, guys, make sure you wear your mask. And you better stay prayed up because this COVID is real. Okay? So, make sure you like comment, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you be notified when I drop another hit. So, peace.